Moderna published data to, on the production of antibodies by its coronavirus vaccine at the six month point after the second dose. Um, this doesn't seem as compelling as Pfizer and BioNTech's recent data that showed that the efficacy was in the 90% range, um, but it's the antibody increased or you know decent antibody production at six months is still great to see. Um, I should note that this is data from a phase one study. So there was no way to generate that, that same efficacy data because it's a, there's no control group in the phase one study to compare it to. Um, on the plus side, Moderna's study was peer reviewed versus Pfizer's, which was just a press release data. Do you wanna compare and contrast the two data sets? Yeah, you've, you've already hit, Brian, on a couple of differences, obviously the different uh, phases and one being peer reviewed, the other was not. I will say that Moderna's data included 33 healthy participants from their phase one study and their research focused on an analyzing antibody levels in those participants. And they found strong persistence of antibodies to the novel coronavirus six months after the, the individuals received the second dose. The Pfizer-BioNTech data included 927 participants from a phase three study. And they were focusing on the patients or the individuals who developed symptomatic cases of COVID-19. And the focus of their data was on looking at the efficacy six months after the second dose. So I think comparing these two studies is, is kind of like comparing apples to oranges. They, they are, were very, very different. And the main takeaway I think that investors can have is that both studies showed encouraging results for what they were looking at. And it looks like both of these vaccines will probably remain highly effective six months after the second dose. And that's good news for both Pfizer and Moderna investors. And I think I'm wondering whether Moderna is gonna be able to also use their phase three data to generate the same sort of data that Pfizer and BioNTech did eventually. Uh, the one, they, of course they were about a month behind. So in theory, that data wouldn't be available for another, you know, for until a month after Pfizer's data was available. Um, I think it would be sort of, I, I wonder how hard it's gonna be because you need that comparator group. And I don't know, I can't remember whether, whether Moderna was, was allowing its, uh, vac its uh, placebo group to go and get the vaccine almost immediately. And if you do that, then, you know, you don't have that extra, you don't have that six months of data. You only have the data from, from when you, when you uh, first, you know, when you did the second vaccination to when you actually get the, the vaccine, the placebo groups gets the vaccine. Yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, we've talked about Novavax uh, taking a different route where they, um, they offered everyone in their studies, the opportunity to, um, to get, another dose. So that way, if you were in the placebo group, you didn't know you were in the placebo group, even though you got the vaccine, the actual vaccine later. Mm -hmm.